winter, spring, summer, and fall. Why do we experience seasons? Many students believe that seasons occur because of the distance between the earth and sun. This is not true. The Earth tilts on its axis 23.5 degrees while orbiting the Sun. As the Earth orbits the Sun, the Earth's axis always points in the same direction, as you can see in the picture. During Earth's orbit around the Sun, the tilt of the Earth causes the northern and southern hemispheres, upper and lower halves of our planet, to experience sunlight at greater or lesser degrees. The amount of sunlight affects temperatures, our ecology, and the amount of daylight we experience. Direct sunlight, longer days, hotter temperatures, Indirect sunlight, shorter days, cooler temperatures. The equator is the imaginary line that divides the Earth into northern and southern hemispheres. Places close to the equator do not tilt much toward or away from the sun during Earth's orbit. Places like this one that are along or near the equator receive the most direct sunlight year-round and have warmer temperatures and weather. If we look at the first example, the northern hemisphere, which is where we are located, experiences winter when it is tilted away from the sun, resulting in the northern hemisphere receiving less sunlight. At the same time, the southern hemisphere is receiving more direct sunlight. They are experiencing summer. The sun shines equally on the southern and northern hemispheres around March. South of the equator is experiencing fall, north of the equator is experiencing spring. In the third image, we can see that the northern hemisphere, tilted toward the sun, is experiencing summer with more direct sunlight. At the same time, the southern hemisphere is experiencing winter. And finally, in the last image, in September, the sun shines equally on the northern and southern hemispheres. It is fall in the northern hemisphere, and it is spring in the southern hemisphere. Aha! It's all about the tilt.